Hi there, we're going to continue now with the basic setup of the video system. And when we left it in a previous video, there was just a blank white screen here. And what I'm going to do is just to put a little bit of information on here so that you can see that there are two distinct areas. So if we go back to the admin interface, let's go to a page. At the moment I've just got one page uh, created and I've named it About. So I'm going to go in and edit that page. And you can see there are a few options down here for various things. And the one that we want to look at first is background options. Now at the moment it's got a background and a foreground color of white. So the first thing I'm going to do is change that to black. Update the page. Go over to the page in the browser to refresh. And you can see now that you've got two distinct areas. You've got the background area and you've got the content area. Moving on, probably what you want to see is how you would enable one of the videos that's supplied with the package and I bought the OTO as well which included another 15 videos. So if we go there, enable it and I've got one selected already with both the WebM and MP4 URLs already in place. So we'll just leave that, update the page, and do a refresh. And you can see now that you've got the video playing in the background on a loop. And it's okay, but not necessarily the one that I would choose. If we go back to the background options, now I've already uploaded all of the video backgrounds that I have access to. And I'm going to choose one which is a bit more appropriate for me. Let's choose the London one. Update the page. And do a refresh. Now you can see a view of London again on a loop from an aerial point of view. But that's in effect a, a quick overview of how you would get the moving image background with a foreground area as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.